GoPro. Hey GoPro, please just add some software to the GoPro that allows me to use it as a dash cam. These are some really simple modifications that you can just add to software without any hardware changes that will allow people with their, with their GoPros to use them as dash cams. There are so many GoPros out there that are not being used. I've got literally five GoPros sitting in a drawer of mine. Uh, I'd love to set them up and use them as dash cams, but the software is kind of crappy for, for that. Please just add to your software to allow my existing GoPros to be dash cams. It's such an obvious, easy, simple modification that you guys can do. I mean, you guys should be able to bang that in three days and release that as, an up, uh, as a software update. I'll run through in this video some of the things you need to add short term and long term, but certainly the short term things that I, I could start using my, de my GoPros as a dash cam tomorrow would be things you should be able to get out really, really quickly in an update. I mean, I'm sure you guys at GoPro have been in enough boardroom meetings where you've looked at your stock price and seen it plummeting. I've used lots of, lots of dash cams over the years, uh, everything from the built-in Tesla da cameras to third, many third-party dash cams, and GoPro by far is the best out of all of them. Certainly during daylight, I'm able to pull license plates from much further away than any of my other dash cams. The clarity is phenomenal, the anti-shake is amazing. So you've already got the product that, need, that, that does uh, what we need, just add a little bit of software to do that. And really the only one deal breaker software, uh, software change that I need is for there to be an option that as soon as my GoPro gets power, that it starts recording. It's so simple, but I'll go through with other items as well that I want. As I mentioned, the footage from GoPros is amazing, especially if you're using anything, any GoPro 8, 9, 10 onwards. Um, the stabilization is phenomenal. So when driving, you really just get really cool, great, smooth, crisp footage that you can pull license plates from. Why do you care that people are only using your action cam for, for sport and for, act, for action sport? This is such an obvious, easy thing that you could be doing. The other benefit is dash cam's wide angle, uh, 170 degrees of wide angle capture. Basically, I would need two dash cams to cover pretty much my whole car instead of four that I currently have on front, back, left, and right. When you do the software update, please make sure that it's available for older dash cams. I use my newer dash cams for actions for more action sport type, type stuff, but my older dash cams that are sitting not being used, I'd love to use them as dash cams. I do have GoPro labs on my on my GoPros, which is fantastic, but that's some, a whole lot of that stuff should just be built in to the GoPro standard software. All right, here's the things that you need to get done in order to make the GoPro a dash cam. So these are the short term things you need to do, which you could really do tomorrow, and then I'll list some things that you could do long term as well. So the first thing you need to do is to add a dash cam mode. The dash cam mode will allow the camera to be turned on automatically as soon as it gets power. So if it's plugged into a USB port in my car, when I turn my car on, it will just automatically start recording. The next thing that would be nice is when I click the power button, currently when I'm recording video, it highlights a part of the video. I'd like that video to be put into a read only folder. That way that, fo that footage that I just recorded over the last three minutes gets put into that read-only folder and it is protected and not going to be overwritten. And the last thing that needs to be enabled is just loop recording, which is already available, but it needs to be under the dash cam setting so that as your SD card fills up, it just goes ahead and records over the older footage. Future things you need to work on for a, dash, a GoPro dash cam are night vision. And the night vision on GoPro, especially with some motion, is not great. I think obviously adding some kind of infrared ring um, would make the recording much clearer and crisper at night. Uh, maybe sell that as a third party add-on, um, that would be fine. Uh, a mount for a dash cam where it's got a really quick release, um, maybe with the power plugged into the mount and then you can just pull your camera on and off really quickly and easily. I think that would be really useful because some people might not want to leave their GoPros in their car, so at least you know, sometimes they can take them in. A case for the GoPro that makes it look more like a generic dash cam, that way people are less worried about their GoPros getting stolen. Uh, bump detection, so if your car is bumped, the camera automatically can turn on and start recording and get any hit and run uh, incidents or theft incidents. Possibly some option for automatic cloud upload, um, maybe using some kind of SIM chip like the Ring uh, dash cam. That way if your vehicle is stolen or something like that, the footage will be uploaded to the cloud and you can access that footage even if you don't have access to the SD card. And no, thank you, I will not become the CEO of GoPro. But you can take my advice for free, you can use it, and good luck to you. This is such an easy thing for you to add, at least at the software level. Make people use their GoPros more often, it would sell more GoPros. Come on guys, just 
get with the program, uh, to do something innovative and change it up. Um, I will be doing a video on me using my GoPro as a video and going through the pros and cons of using it as well as looking at the quality of the footage. Happy hunting and report what you see on Citizen PD.